What is up? Welcome to the 80s. I'm going to be showing you this totally awesome makeup look. I'm going to start with my foundation. For this, I'm using Ben Nye and I'm using the lightest two shades of TK3. So like when I'm doing this, I'm starting from the middle and I'm just bringing it out as I go because the middle of your face is the most important. And you know, who really cares what's going on with like the rest of your face? Okay, so now that my face is like totally covered with the foundation, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. And for this, I'm just using Maybelline. So when I'm doing this, I'm using a brush to put it on because you can't clean this with your dirty fingers. Gross me out. But you can clean your brushes and you should. But like you have to blend with your finger or else it looks totally gross. Okay. So like, I don't really have that many red areas on my face, so I think this is probably pretty good. I'm gonna blend my foundation onto my cheeks a little bit better just got a little heavy i know i said the cheeks don't really matter but you can't have your face looking grody all right so now i'm going to do a little bit of shadowing I know shadowing isn't like totally in but I think it looks pretty good. So
And then when you put the shadow on, you have to put highlight by it because it makes like no sense to have a shadow if you're not going to have a light part by it. So just going to balance that out a little bit. other place I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow is on my lower cheekbones most of the cheekbone shadow should come from your blush but I just like it a little bit darker Rad. So now I'm going to set that with some powder just so that it doesn't go anywhere while I'm putting the rest of my makeup on. That would not be excellent. Soft set, first try. All right, so now is blush. This is one of the most important parts because it will help you shadow and it will help give life to your face. So I'm using a dark blush because it is just that important. Get a good color. I'm going to stir up the blush, get it all on that brush. And like I said, this is going to help with your shadow, so come on down and mix it in with the shadow. Might take a long time, but like it's fine. What else are you gonna do? Pop in a VHS? Alright, 
that'll be enough blush for now. We might come back if I think it needs more. That'll be enough blush for now. So now we're moving on to eyeshadow. For this, you look at your colors that are in your eye and pick like colors that are exactly the same. So like I have some blue in my eyes, so I'm gonna put blue on my eyes. And for this, I'm using just an eyeshadow brush and an e.l.f. palette. Make sure your your foundation's not like making lines or anything on your eyelids before you start. And it's a good idea to come down around the bottom as well. And you pretty much want to take it like all the way up to your eyebrow just so that everyone can see it nicely. I put a little too much under this eye. It's hard to do too much, I know. So now that we have our blue nicely, and that's a nice a base for what we want to do. Ooh. Now I'm going to go in and like complement it with another color that's in my eye. So when I look in my eye, I see a little bit of green. So I'm going to put some green on the lower inside just to make sure that I don't have a white line in between the top of my eyelid and the eyelash. And use a brush to blend it because like if you don't blend it then it's not excellent that's like not what you want at all
and again you want to keep it kind of close wipe that off I want a little more blue on this eye All right, there you have some totally rad eyeshadow. Now for the eyeliner. Now you want it thick and you want it to come like this on your eyes. And you want it to be right on the eyelashes. So then I'm going to come in and go halfway across the bottom of my eye. And then I'm going to blend the rest with this brush the rest of the way across. Excellent. Next eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom of this eye. And I'm going to even them out just a little bit. And go back in and blend. So it's like really important that you have your eyes look the same. If you don't, that's like grody to the max. All right, excellent. So now that 
our eyes are there with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow we gotta do a little bit of mascara and my parents are super lame and won't let me buy the colored mascara so I found a way to make my own don't worry for this I'm gonna use some white cream base on my clean mascara wand well I just did it so it's not so clean but it's the same colors it's not gross and I'm gonna put some of the white on the mascara wand and get some of this teal eyeshadow and put it on top of the cream so it sticks and then I'm gonna use that for my mascara Let's take that mom and dad And sometimes it's helpful to just put the cream on the eye lashes and then go in and powder them afterwards. That sometimes works better. So as you can see, now this eyelash is blue, teal. And just wipe off the excess that you might have bumped. And then the next step is to my brush go? There. comb through it with a small comb so that you have no chunks and your eyelashes look nice and full. And do the same thing on the other eye. And then you have to make sure that you get it on the bottom too, because if you have blue eyelashes on top and not on the bottom, it looks so weird, like gag me with a spoon. Excellent. All right, so now we're gonna go on to just a little bit of highlight to draw attention to the face more so. And with this, we're just gonna put it right under the eyebrow and blend it into our eyeshadow to call attention. Excellent. 
So now we're gonna do another, uh, another thing with the eyes is the eyebrows. Now, for this, you want them thick and you want them hard lined. So I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil and I'm going to trace them in the shape that I want and then comb them through so it doesn't look like I just drew on my face with an eyebrow pencil because that is not the look. Make sure you're not losing any of the thickness when you're combing it because we just worked to put that there. All right, next eye. Again, it's like so important that your eyes match because it's not gonna look believable if they don't match. And comb that one through. Excellent. I want a little bit more of a point on this one. Excellent. So now we're going to do a little bit of lip. And for this, feel free to overline the lips and accentuate them because they are an important part of your face. Overlining will help make them look bigger and fuller. Excellent. Now I'm going to go in and to fill in the lips, use the brightest color you can so that you can bring the most attention to your lips. For this, I'm using a brush to apply.
little bit, a little too much. there I just went back in with my concealer because I got a little too wide up top with this lip with this side of my lip rather so I'm gonna go back in fill it in All right, and with that, we are going to powder set everything. Just to hold it in place so you can rock all night. All right, that'll do it for our night to rock out.